Hey, shalom, my friends. We call my pastor and James. Let me give an all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rechach Hadash. Want to give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of James, and shalom, my letter to the hopeful that's preaching his truth and all sincerity. Back again with another video. This one's gonna be uh, <clears throat> focused on, um, you know, the chariots of the Lord, man. <laughs> they seem to be just popping up everywhere, man. <laughs> you know, random, well, so-called random, you know, occasions. You know, we said the Queen's Jubilee and they popping up there. You know, they're popping all over the place, man. They're just popping up. You know, people are cashing them. And, um, you know, they're being seen more and more on a more frequent basis in larger numbers and, and, and whatnot, man. Because, you know, we're really coming into that time now where the Lord is going to make his return soon, man. And the increased activity of, um, of what these, you know, People in the world call UAPs or UFOs. I read the angels of the Lord going about their business and and you know, and they're doing what they're doing, man. You know, and it's a it's a a joy for us to behold and see, okay? Because it it you know gives us a great hope, man. Okay, knowing that you know the angels be out there and they they you know getting on with their job as as we are supposed to be getting on with our job, right? You know, knowing that this is going to get wrapped up. Okay, soon, right? So, I said, they, just, they keep making appearances, you know, when you least expect them, you know, at random times and stuff like that. And, you know, they get caught on camera and whatnot, right? And like I said, it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful to see. Uh, so, I just wanted to get a few scriptures, uh, you know, about the chariots and whatnot, right? So, we start here in Zechariah chapter 5, verse 1. says, um, Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked and behold a flying roll. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And then I, and I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. All right, so this, um, this flying roll represents this chariot, okay, which is a vehicle of, you know, the celestial bodies, man, the angels. All right. So then, then, see, then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. Right, so... The people that are, you know, concerned about these objects, you know, they call them unidentified because they don't know what the hell they are, right? They're concerned about these objects, not knowing what they are and what they're to do, what they're you know, here to do and whatever, what they're doing, right? And fear is, you know, the most common thing that people feel when they don't understand something and, you know, but they're right to fear. All right, they they are right to fear, man. Unless you're of the elect of Israel, and in that in that case, man, you know, we have nothing to fear of them. You know, they're here for, you know, our salvation, man. They're here to, to you know, pick us up, deliver us from the judgment that's gonna come upon this earth. All right, so they're vessels of hope to us. But for the most, for the majority of people on the planet, okay, it's bad news. Okay, it's bad news for you. Right, and it's a curse that goes forth over the face of the whole earth, right? And and you 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 see these chariots, man. They will pop up everywhere and anywhere on the earth. You know, they'll they'll <laughs> they'll be popping up out in space. You know, on the sun, in the moon. It, 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 you know, you saw catching one of the satellites and the cameras. You know, they'd be around the volcanoes. They'd be in this country and that country, everywhere. They're just everywhere doing you know whatever it is that, that you know they they've been commanded to, to go do. Right, but they'll pop up. Right, and it's something that people all around the world see. Right, and not just in this time, this era, in in times of old, they have seen these these objects. Right, you know these so called unidentified flying objects. Right, throughout time they've seen them, and and you know recorded them, painted them. You know, there's been famous paintings or you know old ancient paintings. With uh, you know these things flying through the air with men in them, <laughs> you know, which represents the angels, man, because you know they're in the form of men, right? But you know it's, it's been recorded throughout all of time these things and these unexplained things, right? But through the scripture, we, we get understanding of what these things are. They're not they're not some aliens, you know. He so pushes that narrative out there to confuse people and to have you, um. Think on something else 
other than the scriptures. Right, he'd rather have you believe that, you know, aliens exist on, on different planets and they're here scouting Earth. He'd rather have you believe in, in these stupid um, uh, conspiracy theories out there. Because he's, he's, you know, he's, he's, he's a spreader of all things, man. So he pushes inf uh, false information out there all the time. Right, some of it's part maybe partially true, some of it's not true, none of it's true, whatever the case may be, right? But you don't, you'd rather have you believing in Anunnaki and the Greys and, and, and Nibiru and all this madness that's out there, man, right? And it'll push it in these movies and, and, and whatever, man. But really, no one really talks about them being angels, okay? That's not really a, a, a school of thought that's pushed out there. Esau doesn't want that out there, he doesn't want you relating what you're seeing to the scriptures. He's been doing his damn hardest to remove people from, from the scriptures. That's what he's been doing this whole time. Okay, believe in, making people believe in doctrines that don't even exist in the scriptures, you know. So, you know, he's been doing his best to take you away from the scriptures and its understanding. So, you know, you're not, you're not really thinking that these things that you're seeing in the sky is, are celestial beings, you know, celestial phenomena, you know, angels in celestial vehicles, man. Right? I said he'd rather have you believe something completely different. All right. But so you know, it's, it's a these these are you know all parts of uh, of judgment that's gonna come out here, man. Because they're gonna they're gonna bring judgment upon the earth. Okay, when the time comes. All right. Anyway, back in verse three, it says uh, they said, unto, "Then said he, un, he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off." As on this side according to it. It's like, and everyone that swears shall be cut off as on that side according to it. Oh, it's lucky, man. <clears throat> Verse 4 says, I will bring it forth, says the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. Okay. Esau is the thief. Who 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 have he stolen? What and who have he stolen? Okay. The Lord's people. Right, he has stolen the lost people. He has got them in captivity under any underneath his power, under his rulership. Right, he put us into into hardcore slavery. Put us on them slave ships. Put us in yokes of iron. Okay, you just type that in in Google. It will show you that who who that really pertains to. Right, and that's all in a, in the scriptures in prophecy concerning our people. Okay, you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, and our descendants scattered abroad. Okay, that predominantly happened to the Negroes, of course. You know, tribe of Judah. Benjamin Levi, you know, but Esau out here oppressing all of our people. Okay, got us uh, serving his kingdom. Okay, at the bottom of his of, of his kingdom, you know. So he's the thief, right? He stole our land, you know, the land of Israel. Okay, he's the thief, right? And there's a great curse against him, right? Um, back and forth it says, um, and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. Our right, America is going to receive a great judgment, as we as we know in the scriptures. It is the daughter of Babylon, right? And the daughter of Babylon is going to be burnt with fire, okay, to the point where no man is going to dwell there any, anymore, right? It's going to be completely, utterly turned to to pitch and fire. Brimstone smoke. Uh, the Bible speaks about the lake of fire. Okay, that's what the land of America is going to become once you know the missiles are used to destroy the land of America and the, and the angels are finished with it. You know, and it's going to be uninhabitable for for for, for man. <laughs> you know, but you're going to get you know those those um and types of creatures that does dwelling creatures that can live there after a time. You know. Anyways, um, so that's it on this on this uh on this second like right here, right? So yeah, it's not good news for the majority of people on the on the planet when when they see these things, they they seem um harmless at this moment in time. They're not here to bring judgment upon the earth. They they're here doing you know doing doing their thing, but they're not here to bring judgment at the moment in time. Right now, a lot of them are holding back holding back judgment. You know, you know the angels that are holding the four winds, man. They're holding back judgment, man. So they're not here to come and attack the earth right now, and and, and you know, 
in the society. They're not here for that right, right this moment in time. Okay, the, everybody's waiting for the green light from the Heavenly Father, including Yahweh Shai, to come down here and destroy this place. All right? And, you know, the angels are tasked with, you know, whatever missions they're tasked with to do. And they're, they're doing them, you know? But you got, you know, these uh, militaries, American militaries, you know, militaries across the world, man, you know, scratching their heads, trying to figure out how to deal with these things because they've been unsuccessful. <laughs> Up to this point in time, and and then ain't never, ain't never going to be successful. Um, but they're trying to figure out how to deal with these things, man. They they all getting their their, their pant panties in a twist, you know. Trying to trying to come up with some some plan or some way to deal with them. Okay, which they ain't going to come up with shit. All right, when the when the Lord turns up with the angels, man, it's over. Okay, they ain't, the, the, <laughs> the fight's been done, man. It's it's finished, you know. Anyway, um, it's Second uh, Thessalonians chapter one and verse six. It says, "Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you." Right, like I mentioned, you know, we're we're the people, of the Lord that have been stolen, okay, by Esau and oppressed by Esau uh, and these other nations, okay, in 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 the four corners of the earth. Okay, under all in the, all these different nations. Okay, that's why the Lord is bringing us out of all these different nations under the heathen, right? The Lord's gonna bring us out, right? So we're troubled. Okay, we're a troubled people, man. Okay, it says rest with us when the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with these mighty angels, right? So when the Lord comes back, he's coming back in in chariot, in, or he coming back in a fathership, man. He coming back in a huge one, right? But you're going to have the hosts of heaven, the angels, the armies of heaven, right? Come with him. All right? In their chariots. Right? You've seen footage, footages of, um, you know, large chariot sightings. I mean, in, in terms of number. You know, quite a lot of them uh, together. You know, and you've also had those, those sightings of large individual ships, man. I remember that one just recently. Off the NASA feed, you know, where that Iskarite is, is bugging out, <laughs> you know, or that one that came uh, close to the Earth on another feed, uh, and it was bigger than the Earth, you know. So there's these different types of sightings, man, that you know show you, man, that you're dealing with something <laughs> extraordinary, you know, that Isori hasn't got any answers for. You know, and he don't. He doesn't know what it's for. You know, this is um verse eight in flaming fire, taking vengeance. You know, these are vessels of vengeance, man. They're gonna come bring vengeance, judgment, right? In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High Yahweh, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shemasha Yak, right? Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power. When he shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe, right? The saints or the Israelites, okay, the elect of Israel, right? Because, of, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. Wherefore, also we pray always for you that our power will count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power. That the name of our Lord Yahweh Shem Mashiach may be glorified in you and ye in him. According to the grace of our power and the Lord Yahweh Shai Master Yak. Alright. So the Lord's coming back with vengeance. He's coming back with angels. He's coming back with his armies. To come and bring judgment upon the earth. So again. You know. The only people that it's good for. That it applies to is the Israelites. The elect. Okay, everybody else. It's not so good man. It's not good news for you. Alright. This is Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. He says, behold, he coming through clouds. Okay, we're just ready to come with the mighty angels, right? So the clouds is another reference to the angels and the chariots, right? So behold, he coming through clouds, and every eye shall see him. Okay, how shall I going to be on the, one of them massive ships, right? It's, you know, big enough to clear the skyline, right? So, you know, it's going to be taken up. But you're going to see angels everywhere. You're going to see chariots everywhere. Okay, this, this this event that's about to take place isn't going to be up for debate any longer. Like, 
who the most high is and, and the sun is, you know, who the power is on the, on the earth. <laughs> there ain't going to be no questions, man. Like, a lot of people ain't going to understand, so they'll be scratching their head. They ain't, ain't going to fully understand, but in terms of those that supposedly believe in, in you know, in, in their religious books, right, all these Muslims and that, they ain't got no scriptures. <laughs> they ain't got no scriptures that, that's going to tell, tell them about this, man. They're going to be bugged out, right? They, they're going to, you know, they know it's not their power that did it because it's not written for them. They don't have no prophecies concerning what's about to happen, okay? We're the ones that are going to be affirmed, right? Because everything that we'll be speaking about is what's going to take place, right? And those of us, those of them that have heard us, okay, whether they, they rejected us or whatever, man, they're going to understand and realize that, wow, these men said this would happen. They said it was written in the scriptures, okay? And this is why they're going to know that the power in the earth is Yahweh, why Yahweh is shy. They're going to know, right? Because ain't nobody preaching this. Ain't nobody putting it out there in the world like that. No one else coming in the names of, of Yahweh, why Yahweh is shy. Right, they're going to know it's our power that's doing this, man. Right, and they're going to fear. They're going to be scared. And so they should be, man. Because they're about to they're about to find that, man, that all the evil and the wickedness, man, has a, has a, has a time, man, an end, and, and, you know, recompense has to come. Okay, and that'll be it. That'll be the day. That'll be it for them. And they're going to, they're going to fear. All right, as it goes on to say, right, behold, he coming for clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, right, and that tells you something too, right? That tells you that those men that pierced Yahweh Shai, you know, put him up on the cross, man, they're here today. Now, what does that mean? What does that prove? That proves reincarnation. You know, for everybody that out there that's you know trying to vehemently deny it, you know, that's evidence right there in the scriptures. Right, and I say we always bring out many examples, man. You know, with John the Baptist, um, you know, you got you, you know, you guys are going, oh, but it was the spirit of John the Baptist. He didn't say it was. Well, they explain this one then. They never said, oh, the spirit of these guys that pierced the Lord. No, they said those they who which pierced him. They are here today. All right, and they're going to get their judgment for what they did to the to the Son of the Most High. <laughs> you know, you think you think those individuals was gonna get away? They're about to receive the heaviest judgment they've ever been judged with their life. You know, they're here today to receive the greatest of judgments. You know, so they're here today too, just like many others, including of our own people, man, that rejected the Lord. They're here again today, right, ready to receive their judgment, the final judgment for our people, because. You know, they're going to be in their right mind after this, man. But, you know, because you got you got a bunch of happy people here that reject the Lord still. All right. And so they're going to have to be judged also. Okay, with that fire, you know. Says, and they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall wail. Okay, it's not going to be a happy time for the world when the Lord comes, right? It ain't going to be a happy time. Okay, it's going to be happy for us, man. It's good to say, happy are we, O Israel. You know? Let me find that quickly. Not the world. Happy is Israel. Right? Deuteronomy 33 and uh, 29 down here, right? Uh, yeah, let's get the point. 29 it says, happy out. Art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord, the shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellency, and thine enemies, the other nations, right, shall be found liars unto thee, right? Talking about how we're not the people, they're liars, man. You know, now they might be ignorant, but they're still a liar. <laughs> you still, you still uh, spoke not the truth, right? So you know, lies, and you're gonna be confounded. Right, and thou shalt tread upon their higher places, man. We're gonna take these nations down. Okay, we're gonna join the you know Yahweh Shai and the angels in in battle, man. We're gonna be exalted and and changed. Okay, and we're gonna tread upon their higher places. All right. 
Nope. This is Wisdom of, uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 verse 1 it says, uh, And then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labours. Right, That's our people again because we're being oppressed. Okay, we, we, we looked at with little worth or no worth in this world. You know, the only thing we're good for is entertaining people, man. But that's how Esau promotes us. You know, <clears throat> that's how he promotes us, man. We ain't good for nothing else, apparently. You know, we're the greatest people upon the planet. You know? This is, um, before the face of face of such as have afflicted them and made no account of his labours, you know, give us no respect. Okay, always trying to talk down at us, man. Right, it's verse 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Okay, you're going to fear. You're going to see these chariots, these so-called UFOs and whatever. <coughs> And you're going to be afraid. And like I said, so, so you should be. All right? And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. All right? Like I mentioned too, these are vessels of hope for us. Okay? So we're not going to be afraid. We're not going to be concerned when the sky is filled with chariots. We're not going to be concerned. Okay? Our, our faces <laughs> is going to be, is going to show nothing but Joy, happiness, man. Okay, even tears of happiness, man. You're gonna see all of that go on when when the Lord turns up, right? And yeah, we're gonna be praying for that for that mercy and for that salvation, man. Because until it, we gonna make it on a chariot, man, hey, we don't know if we're gonna make it yet. But you know, we're gonna be happy that the Lord turn up, regardless of what goes on after that, man. We're gonna be happy the Lord turn up. You know. We're going to be happy, man. Okay, we'll be smiling, we'll be crying. Happiness, you know. But you, nah. You ain't going to have that same feeling, man. You're going to, you're going to feel a deep, deep anxiety in your body, man. <laughs> you know, you're going to feel that deep fear in your body. You're going to feel it in your bones. You know, when you see these things take place. And when you see men of the Lord getting beamed up, Getting taken out of the earth While you're left there For your judgment That you know Like I said Your heart gonna sink man Okay You're gonna know You done fucked up <laughs> You know it says, When they see it They should be troubled With terrible fear And should be amazed At the strangeness Of his salvation So far beyond All that they look for You know I'm thinking that These these You know These UFO objects In the sky Is gonna come and Deliver so-called black people and Hispanics and Native Americans and, and, and whatnot. They ain't thinking that in the slightest, man. Esau think he's the first in line for everything, man. He think if anyone's going to get saved, it's going to be him. That's what they think. They think they're God's gift, man. They think they're the, 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 the cream of the crop. They're the deserving ones. They're the pure ones, right? They're the good ones on the earth, man. Oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> man, you're about to find out what you are, man. Okay? You're going to be certified Edomite in that day, man. For you, for you Edomites out there that are trying to deny that they're Edomites, right? You're going to be a certified Edomite in that day. Okay? Stamped. Proven. Edomite. <laughs> right? And you're going to receive your judgments, man. And you're going, you know, those that survived the, the destruction, you're going to be going into slavery. Okay, certified, certified Edomites. That's what you. Everyone's gonna. Everyone's gonna find out what nation they belong to, man. For sure. You know what I mean? They give me no confusion. <laughs> you know. None of this comedian shit going on. Everyone's gonna get certified. Whatever nation, what nationality you're from, you're gonna get certified, man. Okay, and you're gonna re receive your judgments respectively. Okay, ain't no running from it no more, Esau. Okay, you're gonna have to face that. Face the fact that you're an Edomite. Face the fact that you got nothing but judgments coming your way from here on out. All right. This is uh, verse three. It says, um, "And they repenting and groaning, man, you're gonna be trying to repent. You'll be crying. You're gonna be trying to feel sorry. But guess what? Ain't no one listening, right? 
for they repenting and groaning for anguish because you, you're gonna be uh, uh, saying fear and anguish right of spirit shall say within themselves this was he who we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach okay these were these were the guys we looked down upon and taking the piss out of man belittled them you know abused them this was he like we didn't know because you know the average emails don't know shit right you thought it was just a fucking, you know, you're having a good old merry time when we had when you had us in captivity. Or even, even to this day, you still have a fucking merry good time with us, man. You know, you thought it was all good, right? Well, no, you fucked up. Okay, you're like, I didn't know. It was, this was, it was him. Like, if I knew, I wouldn't have fucked around. <laughs> well, guess what? You fucked around and now you got to pay for it. All right. So we fools. So you're going to understand that you were fools in that day. You ain't the wise. You ain't the righteous. Right? You're going to understand in, in that day. Right? You're going to understand yourself to be a fool. Right? It says, we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honour. That's how you look at us Negroes, man. That's how you look at, you know, the, uh, us Hispanics out there, man. That's how you look at these Native Americans, man. You just look down upon us, man. You, we just nothing. Gad's through. You know what I mean? Gad's all, all mostly destroyed. Uh, you know, depressed. You know, all he got is is drugs and casino, alcohol, alcohol, uh, alcoholism and shit, man. You know, the Iskarites, man, they're nothing but maids and and and, and you know, laborers to you, man. To do your hard work, the work you don't want to fucking do. That's what you look at us like, man. Cattle. You know, something to do work for. You know, to work for you, to build you up. You know? That's why you got the byways and the progress for us, man. With the fucking the jokes and shit. You know? Always look down on a Negro. Always. Or the so-called Negro, should I say, you know? You've always looked down on our people, man. Treated, treated us less than you. When really we're, we're more than you. That's why we're not even... We don't even talk, trying to talk about equality, man. That that's not a language that we speak. That's not a language that exists in the scriptures, man. Okay, we're not looking to be equal like some of our ignorant counterparts are trying to do, man. <laughs> right? Because that just doesn't exist, man. We're more than you. Okay, we are greater than you. And it's all going to be shown in this time, man. All right. So we we fools account of his life madness and his end to be without honor. Now, or oh, sorry, how? Is he numbered among the children of God and his lot is among the saints? How are these people the saints? How are these people the children of the Lord? It's what we've been telling you this whole damn time, man. Okay, there's a reason, you know, uh, why we are the way we are, man. Right? That's still down to the curses, man, because of our own iniquities, because of our transgressions against the Heavenly Father, man. That we've been put into your hands. And our people are through. Right, but the Lord is waking up his men from around the world, okay, to teach this truth, man. To preach the gospel to our people, man. Right? But you, you know, you can't accept that. You think how could it possibly be? Well, we've explained that plenty of times over. This is, um, Therefore we have erred from the way of truth And the light of righteousness have not shined unto us And the sun of right righteousness Rose not upon us man Right You didn't, you didn't have the truth man You didn't know no truth What you knew was wickedness We wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction Yea we have gone through deserts Where they lay no way But as for the, Lord, for the way of the Lord we have not known it Okay you don't know the Lord you don't know the most high and his son. You know, we, all you avid so-called Bible believers out there, you know, you don't know the Lord. Okay, you, all you ever used that, you know, speaking on your Edomites, now all you ever used it, man, was for control. And a ways to justify your wickedness, man. You know? But... Let's go on the next one, right? <clears throat> it 
This is Revelation chapter 6, verse 12. So now behold, when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great, uh, a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree chases her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. Okay, this destruction, <laughs> man, it's going to be bad, right? These missiles, when they drop, okay, it's going to destroy all of America, right? And heaven departed as a scroll. Okay, when it is rolled together, every mountain and island were moved out of their places, okay? And to give you a visual, that's the mushroom clouds, man. Right, the earth rolling into each, other, into each other, right? And every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. Right, so when the when the angels come, and you know, like I said, they they release those four winds, the destruction. Right, these men are gonna, you know, certain men are gonna try and hide and, the, you know, um, protect themselves from from the destruction that's gonna go out. Right, so they're gonna put, hide themselves, you know, in bunkers and and whatever. Okay, depending on. What they can, you know, what they got access to, what they can afford, because you know the rich, they, you know, they be getting them bunkers and and getting them uh, under underwater ones and and you know space shuttles and and whatever, man. You know they're able to do all that, man. But the common people, man, most of them are just gonna get destroyed. But you know some of them, okay, they're gonna be, find a way to um, try and protect themselves. Okay, now in America, it doesn't matter because you're all gonna die. <laughs> but every, you know, elsewhere where the destruction is gonna come, man. Okay, it's gonna be survivors. You know, it has to be obviously, because we need we need um we need laborers, man, to to build the kingdom afterwards. So you, you can't you can't all die, right? But in the land of America, for sure, everyone's gonna perish, right? Anyway, this is verse sixteen, and he said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide from us the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For that, for the day, sorry, for the great day of wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? All right, so you're gonna try and hide yourself, okay? But you ain't gonna be be able to hide from from the Lord, man. All right, it's Amos nine verse one says, "I saw the Lord standing upon the altar, and He said, Smite the lintel of the door, that the post may shake, and cut them in the head, all of them, and I will slay the last of them with the sword." He that fleeth of them shall not flee away. He that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. Though they dig into hell, thence shall my, my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. Right? So no matter where, you know, especially these elites, man, because it's not what you're going into, right? No matter where they hide themselves, man, they're not, they, they can't escape the, 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 the grasp, the hand of the Lord. Right, these angels are gonna go out there and, and get you wherever you are. Alright? No matter no matter how deep underground you are, <laughs> no matter how high in, in 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 the space you are, or how deep underwater you are, it don't matter where you are. Okay, the Lord is gonna come and take you. Alright. So though and though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence, and though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, right? Because I mentioned the underwater ones, right? Thence will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. And they and though they go into captivity before their enemies, thence will I command the sword, and it shall slay them, and I will set my eyes upon them for evil, not for good. Alright. But going into this first part here, these men, you know, these elites, because obviously you're speaking about Israel here. All right, but these elites, they're going to be hiding themselves in these different places, man. And it just, it just goes to show, man, there's no hiding from the Lord, man. No matter where it is that they are, the Lord's going to get them. All right, and they're going to go into captivity this time. All right, that's what's going to happen to these nations. All right. But that's all i got for that, right? So, like I said, man, these chariots keep popping up, man, and, and they're going to continue popping up. Okay, and we can't wait until... The Lord returns with the whole army, you know, where the world is going to start bugging out and, you know, we're going to be crying in tears of joy, man, you know, but 
Like I said, we're living in a, in strange times, right? And it's only going to get stranger. <laughs> but anyway, with that, man, I'm going to say Shalom. I hope this is edifying. And I'll catch you, brothers and sisters, on the next one. Until then, I'll say Shalom.